Hi, this is Jason Fieldman. I'm the developer of DCS, and I want to give you a quick tutorial for the game. DCS and the Minotaur is a maze-like game. You are Theseus, the blue ball in the lower right-hand corner. The Minotaur is the red ball. He's in the center compartment. And your job in each level is to get to the stairs in the upper right-hand corner. In this level, it's very simple. The Minotaur can't eat you. This is just a quick movement tutorial. Um, everything that I'm saying in this video is accessible in the tutorial levels. There's a lot of text showing you how to play the game. Um, there's three ways to move. The first way is using the D-pad at the bottom. Um, the second way, you can drag your finger along the maze. And the third way is to tap anywhere in the maze. So I will take Decius and move him to the stairs. Every time you beat a level, you'll be given a medal. The gold medal represents the fact that you beat it in the shortest amount of moves possible. If you take any longer than that, you'll get a silver medal. Um, you can play any level you want in any order. So one thing to uh, keep in mind is the Minotaur has very strict rules. So he can move two times every time you take one step, except that he follows the rule that he will only ever try to get closer to your row or column. So in this case, he's already in our row, and there's a wall blocking him from moving closer. I'm sorry, he's already in our column. There's a wall blocking him from moving closer to our row, so he will essentially be paralyzed. If I take one step to the right, then he will be able to take one step to the right to get closer to our column, and then take one step down to get closer to our row. If I take one more step to the left, he will then take one step down and one step to the left, and he'll eat me. So, I'm dead. Um, DCS is really good about dying. It's very easy to undo or reset the level. There's no penalty. So now I go back to the beginning. So if I take one step to the left, the Minotaur will move one step to the left and one step down. Now, the Minotaur will sometimes be able to choose between moving horizontally or moving vertically. For example, if I take one step to the right, the Minotaur has two options. He can either get closer to our column by moving right, or he can get closer to our row by moving down. If he's ever presented with his choice, he will always move horizontally first. And we use that to our advantage to trap the Minotaur in the maze. So if I take one step to the right, the Minotaur favors horizontal movement and will move right to get into our row, or our column. <clears throat> Once he's in our column, he's now trapped. He can't get out of this uh, little cup of wall because doing so would require him to move left and that would require him to move further away from our column. So that allows me to move to the stairs without a problem. This is another tutorial level. We can see I can move freely left and right because the Minotaur is already in our row. He cannot move up or down. And there's a wall blocking him from moving horizontally. If I move up, however, that frees him to move up into our row. And since he prefers horizontal movement, he will continue to move horizontally into our column. He will only begin to move vertically once he reaches our column. From here, if I move left, he will then favor horizontal movement again, and, and he will move left into our column. With his second move, he'll move closer vertically into that little cup. And now we're free to move to the stairs. The Minotaur won't be able to leave that cup because by going up, that would be going further away from our row, which he's not allowed to do. <clears throat> and this last level shows two special rules. The first rule is that even after you move, the Minotaur gets his final two moves. So those stairs just to our right, <clears throat> you cannot go to those because by doing so, the Minotaur will get his two final moves and he'll catch you. So we'll have to undo, reset. Um, and this level shows the use of the wait command. So if I go down twice and left once, <clears throat> if I move to the right from here, the Minotaur will prefer his horizontal movement. He'll move right and then down. And now we're in, in trouble. We cannot escape. So from this position, what we'd like to do is for the Minotaur to move down once by himself. So we use the wait command. By using the wait command, we allow the Minotaur to take his two steps without us requiring to move. So we use the wait command. The Minotaur is now <clears throat> in the basket. 
we can now get to the stairs because on the space that we reach this on the on the turn we reach the stairs, the Mintar with his two moves will only be able to get to that white square next to us. And we're safe. So we've exited the tutorial levels. I won't play any more to give anything away. Um, but that's the game. One thing I should show you the full version has over 87 original levels, including some really hard levels at the end, which will take you hours to defeat. Um, we also include user-created levels. On our forums, users submit their levels, and these are pretty good. So lots and lots of levels. Um, and I will show one other feature, and that is we do have a hint button in the options. You have to turn off hint protection. That prevents you from using hints by accident. Um, now hints are available. We can tap the hint button and it will just perform a move for us. You can see in the navigation section the little red beacon beeps to show you what was done with the hint. You can see the wait button will now be beaconed by the hint. And then it'll take us to the stairs. So it's easy to abuse the hint system. I recommend that you don't because it ruins the game. Um, but it is there just in case you really get stuck and need to move on. Um, but also just remember, you can play any level in any order. So if you do get stuck, it's best to simply just move to the next level and come back later with um, clear head. So that's the game. I hope you enjoy it. Um, check it out in the App Store. It's Theseus. Um, we also have Theseus Lite, which is a free version. It contains only 17 of the original levels. Um, give, that a, give that a try if you want to um, check out the game before purchasing. That's it. Thanks a lot. Bye.